Hello everyone, my name is Joelle and welcome to your morning yoga practice. We'll begin lying on our backs today with the feet planted. Take a moment to close the eyes and find your breath in and out through the nose. And on your next exhale, squeeze the glutes to lift them up into bridge pose. Inhale to lower, and exhale to lift and squeeze. So flowing through this motion just a few more times with your breath. Waking up the body bit by bit this morning. Last time lifting and lowering. And then inhale the arms up overhead, maybe bringing the backs of the hands to the floor and exhale, tiny crunch here, lifting head and shoulders and begin to walk the feet in place. So waking up through the abs, lifting those shoulders half an inch higher, stepping back and forth, and then maybe both feet lift and lower at the same time. This will get things fired up in the morning. And then release that, lower the head back down, rock the neck out from one ear to the other, just to let that go. Welcoming possibility and a spirit of adventure into your day. Now let's roll to one side so that we can lift up into a seated position. The sitting cross-legged and then extending your left leg out to the side so that we can twist towards the right, holding onto your right knee with your left hand. Finding length in the spine and taking the gaze over the back shoulder. And then counter twist towards the left, keeping legs as they are. Pointing through those left toes. And cross that left leg back in front of the right. And we'll take a forward fold, bringing your arms out to the side. So making kind of a T shape with the arms, maybe propping up on fingertips. Letting the head and neck go and releasing through the hips and lower spine. Really nice, rolling your way back up. One hand on each knee, or a few seated cat-cows here, inhaling to lift the gaze, and exhale to round through the spine. So flowing really gently here a few more times, finding your breath, finding your movement. One last time here. And sitting up nice and tall. Switching the cross of your legs so that you can then extend through the right leg and beginning with that twist towards the left, wringing out the spine, keeping just a little bit of engagement in the abs that we woke up a moment ago, as they help you sit up even taller. And now counter stretch towards the right. Every exhale, twisting just that little bit more deeply. Bring the upper body back to center and the right leg back in. And we'll reach the right arm up and over, maybe lowering onto the left forearm beside you. Just a side body stretch here. Reaching nice and long. And then straightening back out, both hands up towards the sky. And exhale, bringing the right forearm down, reaching the left arm long. And 
Every inhale, really filling the rib cage here. And then both arms back up to the sky. We'll let that go really nice. And we'll turn over to come to hands and knees. Start to take some circles with the right knee. Going in one direction. And then reversing your circle, opening up through that right hip. And stepping your way into a lunge with that right foot forwards, keeping the left knee down, right hand to the right knee, so that you can twist to look over that top shoulder. And then bringing both hands to that front knee, you could keep them there, or you might like to extend both arms up overhead. Keep the left glutes squeezed to help with balance and to encourage those hips just a tiny bit further forwards. Wonderful. Both hands find the mat and rocking the hips backwards, straightening through that front leg, half splits. You can keep a gentle bend in that knee, staying up on fingertips or flat palms really opening up through the back of that leg. And rock yourself back forwards, return to hands and knees, tuck the toes and downward facing dog. Pedaling it out here, shaking out the neck, any little movements that feel good to you this morning. And then exhale to lower your knees back down. Very nice. We'll begin with those knee circles on the left side now, taking them in one direction to open up through that hip. And switching the direction of your circle. Now step that foot forwards. Nice long lunge, left hand to the front knee, twisting to look over the top shoulder. Wonderful posture for the lower back. And keeping some engagement in the glutes as you bring the second hand to the front knee as well, or perhaps reach both arms for the sky. One big inhale here. Exhale to lower the hands and shift your hips back for half splits. Oftentimes a very different experience on one side versus the other. You might like to flex that front foot for a bit more sensation. And then rocking your way forwards again, returning to hands and knees, shaking it off a little bit before returning to downward facing dog. And second down dog of the day might feel a little different from the first. Maybe the heels come a little bit closer to the floor. And then start to walk the feet and the hands closer together so that we end up in a ragdoll forward fold and the knees can stay bent. It's nice to hold opposite elbows here and give yourself a little sway from side to side. And then very slowly rolling your way up to a standing posture. Head and neck are the very last. And once you've arrived, inhale both arms back up to the sky and exhale, side bend towards the left. And inhale the arms back up, exhale, side bend to the right. 
and then returning to center, clasp the hands behind the back, inhale for a little mini back bend here. Exhale, bend the knees and fold forwards, lifting the hands away from your low back. Really great shoulder stretch for the morning. And then untangling those hands, returning them to the mat, and stepping your way back into plank pose. One long line of energy from the heels to the crown of the head. Just a little bit of strength work here. Everything working together. And lower yourself down to the mat. Really nice, untuck the toes. We meet in Sphinx pose with the forearms down on the mat and the shoulders released behind you. And then staying in the Sphinx pose, just take your left knee out towards the side. So we're in kind of a half froggy posture here, opening up through the inner leg. Sliding that leg back, we'll switch sides. Right knee comes out towards the side. Still reaching the heart forwards, pressing the forearms down. And slide that leg back. And press your hands into the mat so that we can sit back on the heels for child's pose. Close the eyes, return to your deep breath here. Letting everything be as it is. Maybe even allowing a soft smile to come to lips as you think about how lucky we all are to have another day in front of us. Let's roll up to a tall seat. Take a gentle twist towards the right. Holding here for a moment. And passing through center, gentle twist towards the left. And returning to center once more. Beautifully done. I would love to know if you enjoyed this practice and would also encourage you to click the first link below for my morning yoga challenge. 10 days. I hope to see you there. And in any case, I wish you a beautiful day.